Thank you so much for joining us. It's a brand new week, the Monday edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. Woo, money gets here quick, don't it? See, I uh, got this cool little chart I printed out called Hunting with the Right Caliber, and it shows you all these different bullets and, you know, what you're supposed to use them for. Don't tell anybody, but I found it on Pinterest. <laughs> Here's my favorite, 300 Weatherby Mag. Also, we hunt deer with it, but it's also for grizzly, brown bears, and moose. Just so you got enough. <laughs> So you do that too, you, you got it like you like it, there's no reason to stay up, and then you find yourself up late and watching something you have nothing invested in. You're like, well, why, why am I watching this? I'm ruining my day as I sit here. <laughs> yeah. I know what I'm gonna feel like in the morning, and I'm still up. This morning, about three o'clock in the morning, I had to get up to pee, and I go, and it's dark, and I don't have my contacts in, so I can't see anything. Turn around, sit down, and there's no seat on that toilet, man. And I fell in. <laughs> there is. I fell. I down? fell. In. You sat down to do that? Well, it's it was it was late, Greg. I never. I don't care if it's what it is. <laughs> so you were gonna sit. Well, good. I'm glad you fell in the bowl. Greg, I fell in. I fell. It's so deep. You. Feel, it's so I much different. Hit the water. <laughs> yeah. How long have I been talking about these animal tags? You realize this weekend they found a deer, a white-tailed deer eating human flesh. I've been trying to warn y'all, and it's in prophecy, I won't get into this, that animals are on all-out attack. Now we got kangaroos drawing kids up to the fence, reaching there, grabbing a bite in their face. Yeah, they're just sitting there looking big at square kind of. Look. Oh. Uh, yeah. She was having a great time. She was. And then she just got manhandled by a kangaroo. Yes. Have you ever been attacked by anything, Bubba, you had to fight off? Mm. Ah. Daily. Gets attacked by Greg daily. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Y'all had the moth in the ear it was probably <laughs> the most recent. <laughs> right, we're back with the tweets. If you're just twist. joining us. What is this thing they got here? Like a rotor rooter. <laughs> by by oh, the way, all, all that won't go in your Oh my ear. gracious, right, alive. Greg, you ever been attacked by an animal? A dog. And then that lion that time. Well, I said attacked by a dog, bit by a dog. But I. How old were you? Kicked him off. Oh, I was a grown man. Oh, Prower Company days? Yeah, I was going to somebody's yard, hooking up a chow after me. I hear you. Chows are serious. Yeah, I started kicking him in the face. You had to kick a dog in the face? Yes, that's the only way I could get away from it. Did you kind of enjoy kicking the dog in the face a little bit? Yeah, I did. The more I kicked, the easier it got. <laughs> <laughs> You've been bit by a horse? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a horse bit me right here on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> How long you ever been attacked by an animal? I did have three wasps get inside my mouth when I was about nine or ten, and that was pretty traumatic. But my, I saw my brother get bit by a snake once, and that was rough. And I was standing right beside him, so it could have easily been me. Speedy, you ever been attacked by an animal? Uh, yeah, a canine live on the show. Remember oh, I was yeah. attacked by a canine? Oh, yeah. And I was wearing protective gear, but it still hurt like crazy. Were Rick and Bubba concerned? No, they actually were loving it. Matter of fact, Rick, when I when I actually held the phone and the, the canine actually was tearing my arm up. Rick said, now this is what I was looking for. Now he's got a torn rotator cuff and yeah. he'll be scarred for the rest of his life. Right, but right. Still hurts to this day. It was good radio though, yeah, buddy. Uh, I, I was attacked by a Siamese cat once. Ooh. That's, that's when my disdain for cats started right there. I love my wife for so many reasons and I didn't know this. A little bonus, uh, about first four years of our marriage, she's allergic to cats. Have you ever been attacked by an animal? I got attacked by a pig one time. It was in the middle of going to the bathroom and it ran after me to bite me. You don't think that moth was trying to kill Bubba? It was trying to get in his brain. I mean, a stingray kills that crocodile guy? Huh? I mean, I'm telling you guys, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm like Paul Revere and I'm screaming they're coming and nobody's listening. What's the best and worst thing that happened to you this weekend? The weather was the best. No, no, it's nice. I had a pretty good, pretty good weekend. I can't think of anything bad. Let me, hey, got me something. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I can't think of anything bad. That's rare.
That is rare. For, very rare for you. Hey, Rick, best and worst things that happened this weekend for you? Oh, this weekend? Oh, best and worst. Best was that my wife's uh, Women of Joy tour uh, finished up great, and she did a phenomenal job. Uh, slash, I'm going to do that slash my fishing trip to the farm. Okay, worst moment uh, is when um, I didn't change clothes to go to a movie with my wife, and I had on camo Crocs from Duck Dynasty and my Sunday socks and gym shorts and a T-shirt and met her at the theater, and she drove up screaming out of her car, no, no, tell me you're, that's not what you're wearing, no and made me take the socks off. Uh, so then I went in barefooted with Crocs. Was that better? <laughs> Let me tell you this on guard, guarding, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You want me to take two on that? <laughs> you gotta see the first one. You can't just go see the second one. It does not stand alone. And here's the problem, it's like our show. The reason why I liked Guardians of the Galaxy was probably why some people liked the show. The first one I saw it, I thought I had no expectations. I thought this is gonna be a terrible movie. So I thought it was going to be so bad. The fact that it wasn't so bad, I thought it was good. Kind of like watching and listening to the show. So, Greg, you think they're rebooting Spider-Man a little quick? Yeah. When was the last one? It wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that In long ago. In my mind. If they were to reboot some movie, now I know they rebooted Spider-Man oh too many times, gosh. but if they were to reboot a good one, what, would you, what do you think they should reboot? i like to reboot the outlaw Josie Wells, and I'll tell you why. Because... I'm gonna say something, and I know it's gonna get emails, and I take my emails at uh, speedy at rickandbubba.com. Uh, and that is, I thought the reboot of True Grit with Jeff Bridges was better than John Wayne's True Grit. There it is, I said it. It's better. The Duke? I'd like to see a modern version of where we are now of the outlaw Josie Wells. Boom. I you think, know what I want to see rebooted? Well, you want to see rebooted. Smoke in the bed. I was gonna say that. Are you serious? Yes. I really yes. do. My favorite movie. One classic movie, what would you think they should reboot? Well, clearly it should be Where Eagles Dare. <laughs> what movie would you want him? Top Gun, no doubt. You'd like to see Top Gun rebooted? And I'd like Tom Cruise to come back as the instructor. Okay. You know what? Top Gun was a good one that Helmsley talked about. I remember when Richard Simmons was was, was here, I, I thought he was a big fan of Top Gun. He kept wanting Speedy to play volleyball with him shirt. <laughs> Let's go! Speedy's dealt with Talladega Super Speedway Security uh, when we had Don Juan DeMarco Williams take a lap in the Rick and Bubba Funmobile around Talladega uh, and, and as a tribute to Wendell Scott, the first ever African-American uh, NASCAR driver. They didn't see it the way we did. I keep saying this over and over again. Look, sometimes law enforcement ends up in your life if you'll just do what they say you know and just just follow their instructions it usually works itself out just do what they say we just we, the one thing we didn't do though is we didn't stop when they said they <laughs> wish they wish we would have stopped a little sooner i do think far as outhouse to penthouse i think i made the greatest jump because i was removed from the track banned. and banned for losing my credentials all the way to grand marshall mm -hmm. Hey, we got a new intern. Hello. What's up? And it's Alyssa? What is it? Elena. 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 Yes. I was so close. Hoof hearted. Hoof hearted. <laughs> Not, but if you're, if, if you're saying hoof hearted, Hearted, fast. It's who farted. <laughs> See, a lot of people think it's just fun and games around here at Rick and Bubba. We're working. We man, work. We are working. Man, we're doing sales stuff, trying to make big, big decisions. You know. You wouldn't believe some things we talk about. We, we just talked about when Buffalo Wild Wings is gonna bring his breakfast. Yeah, my face is pretty red. <laughs> this is two days of sitting out in the sun watching my daughter play tennis without sunscreen. And I'll be peeling tomorrow at some point. Hey, you think you might be, man. Get something on that, buddy. Yeah. <laughs>